Watch you guys, today we'll take a look at how to download and install FFmpeg on Windows 11. This also works on Windows 10, so if you're trying to import a video and you're getting a missing codec or an error or something along those lines, you can try to install codecs to try to resolve this issue. Now it's very rare that you have to download and install codecs today, but if you're having an issue, you may need to install a codec to fix and resolve that problem. So we're going to be installing this codec pack here. This is FFmpeg, and you can download it for Windows, uh, Linux, and also Mac OS. We're going to download the uh, top one here. So we're just going to go ahead and download these files. Once this opens up the codex FFmpeg page here, you'll see there's a bunch of text on here. And what we're going to do is download the full pack. So you can see here, there's a couple of areas where we can download this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the right one for myself and download it. Now I'm going to be downloading the full version here, which will give me all of the codecs that I will need. So I can go ahead and click on the full version. But if you just need the essentials one, then you can download the essentials version, which is more like a light version of this. But I'm going to go ahead and go for the full version here and download it. Once this is downloaded, uh, the files, we're going to need to unpack them. Now you can use a program called 7-Zip. It's a free program. You can download it from their website. If you've not used 7-Zip before, it's completely safe. And I've been using it for many, many years. Download the 64-bit version, and this will allow us to uh, unpack the 7-Zip uh, archive file. So let's go ahead and uh, get that installed. And once we've got it installed, we can now go to the download section where we've got our file. But before we do that, let's go to the C drive here and quickly create a folder. Now you can create this folder anywhere you like. You can call it FFmpeg folder, or you can call it Codex or Codec, whatever you want to call yours. Call it something recognizable so you know exactly where they are. I'm going to call mine Codec so I know exactly where it is. And I'm going to be putting it into the C root directory here. So let me go ahead and this is the folder here and you can put a capital C on there if you wish. Let's go ahead and uh, unpack this by opening up the archive here. And you should see a folder inside there. So what I'm going to do here is extract the files that we need from this full build. So inside here, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Inside the bin folder, there is three files that I need. ffmpeg.exe, ffplay.exe, and we want the ffprobe. .exe as well. So I'm going to drag these out into my codec folder here. And there they are. And what we need to do now is we can close this off because we're done with this folder. Now we have those files in there, but we need to change uh, something in the variables section. So we're going to quickly copy the path here, which is C colon backslash codec. And what we're going to do here is we're going to close this off. Now we don't need this area here. And we're going to go to the variable section and add in a path for that directory there. So let's go ahead and open up the search and type path. And you should see right down here the edit system environment variables section. So click on that. And this will open up another little box here. And inside here, we're going to go to environment variables. This will open up another little box called environment variables. And we're going to click here, as you can see, user variables for my main PC, that's my PC. Click on the path section here, and we can add in a new uh, path. So let's go ahead, type new, and we're gonna paste in that C colon backslash codec, click okay, and we are now all set. Once we've got this in place, we're pretty much done. So click okay again, and we can click okay again and come out of there now. So what we can do now is, we can open up PowerShell here just to see whether these are populating OK. So let's go ahead and type in here PowerShell and we can run this as administrator. And this should open up our little prompt box and we can type in here FFmpeg. And this will give us a list of the codecs here, as you can see. And we've got the full build on here. And it should tell you some commands down here in the yellow at the bottom where it says use uh, dash h to get the full help so we can also uh, do list the codecs here so let's go ahead and uh, type in here uh, ffmpeg and then put space dash codex and it will give us the list of codecs here so we're going to push enter and you can see a massive big list of them here so 
Hopefully this video has been some sort of help for you and hopefully this will help resolve your issue. We've now got them on the system and uh, you should now have all the codecs you need for that computer. Now, if you do need to find out what codec is missing, you can always use other programs like G-Spot, which will tell you what codec is used for that particular video. And this will give you also all the information about that video that you're trying to use there. And you can then go ahead and enable or find that codec for that particular video that you're playing. VLC does a pretty good job at playing all of the video content uh, that I've chucked at it. So check out VLC as well. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall see you on the Discord server for a chat or I'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.